welcome you all to the PC Tips Pro. Today in this video, I'm gonna to show you how you can create classified ads website like OLX with WordPress. So if you want to create your attractive websites, then without learning any programming languages like HTML and Java, you can go with this WordPress platform. If you want to move your garage sale online and want to promote your ads, then it's the best platform for you to create your own websites. So before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to the channel PC Tips Pro. So before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain. That means you need to buy a domain and the second is you need to buy a hosting. So let's proceed further to this. First of all, you can open your browser and on the browser search for domain racer or you can directly go to the website which is domainracer.com so guys here i'm not going to buy the hosting because i already having it with domain racers and i really love their services because they have very great services they also have instant support as you can see support chat is here so you can talk to them directly and you can directly contact to the salesperson also if you are having any of the technical issues. So I am only going to buy the domain here. So here when you open domain racer website on the top you can see domain is here. So click on the domain and search for the domain. Also make sure while searching for a domain try to search for the name which is relevant to your website. It means the keyword of your website should be in domain. So talking about classified ads website, I'll search for my classified and will click on the search option. And here you can see there are different suggestions coming up. The domain which are available here. The first domain is myclassifiedusa.com. The second one is myebayclassified.com. The third you can see is mysecretusa.com and now once you select the domain you can click to this add to cart now you can go to the web hosting but as i earlier said that i already having hosting with domain racers so i'm skipping this hosting part now we'll move to the second part to set up your hosting so again go to the domain racer website then on the top you can see this login option so click to this login option and once you click into login option you have your credentials to login this is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the domain racer so use the same credentials to log into the account and once you log into your account you will see the services and products you have got from them so you can see your active products and services once you click on the shared hosting and domain, you will get the cPanel login credentials and the link also. So guys, here I am directly going to the cPanel, then will enter ID and the password. So now, you can see the cPanel account. Once you log into cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to the bottom. And in the software menu, you will see there is an option coming up. WordPress manager by domain racer so click on this option and then you can see there's an option coming WordPress management and there are two different options install and scan so click on this install option and here we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting so now on the top you can see here it's asking to choose a version so try to use the latest version that will be good for your interface of the WordPress dashboard. Now it's asking for site name. The site name would be your website name. That means your domain name. That will represent your website. So it was my classifieds. And the site description you can give like for example I am giving here. Hey these are my classifieds. Now you can see on my screen there's ID and password coming up. So you can choose and change according to your needs. So I'm keeping it same admin and admin. Turn to select the language. 
that is English. You can also choose the language according to your comfort. And now, here's the last part coming up. To select the themes. So you can click to show all themes. Here, it will show you the list of all the available themes. So, let's search for the theme available here. It was about classified ads. So, I'll search for classified. But as you can see, there's no match found. So, I'll click to all and then select any of the theme from there only. Now, you can see there are different themes are coming up. So, you can go with any of the theme which you like more. I'll select this one as I think it would be better related to classifieds. Also, if you want to see the demo of this, you can click to demo. So, I'm going to select this theme here and we'll click on this install option so as you can see it's installing now so it might take some time as you can see this may take up to three to four minutes you can read it from here it depends upon your internet speed how fast your internet is working so let it be because this is the mandatory part you cannot skip this part so we will wait some few minutes more so guys now you are done with the installation part you will get this screen here congratulations the software was installed successfully now you are given two different links here the first link as you can see that will show how your website is looking like so you can click on this and you can open now moving back to second link as you can see administrative URL from where you can go ahead to the customized website that means it will be your WordPress dashboard. So click on this and it will redirect you to the WordPress dashboard and as you can see here. So talking about the role of this. So talking about the role of this dashboard. Let me tell you this dashboard will let you to make changes to your website. As you can see. Either you can customize your website from here or you can change the theme completely. You can do the changes from left side also. Like if you want to post a blog, you can click on this post option. If you want to add new posts, then you can click on this. And again, you can manage your comments from here. By clicking appearance, you can change your theme or customize your website. Or if you want to add any plugin, then click on this plugin option. If you want to assign any other user to your website, you can simply do it from here too. Also, you can see there are many tools which are available. So here, when you go to the website, you can see at the top, My Classifieds. If you remember, it was the name of the website I have given at that time. And now you can see in the heading, here is coming up, Hey, these are My Classifieds. And if you remember, it was a description I given at the time of installation. So these all are the demo photos you can see so you can all change it and how can you do that you need to go to the dashboard and here it's the option start customizing it will let you to do all the changes to your website let's suppose if you want to make changes in the header or footer templates and pages you can go to the header and here you can easily change the header as it's preparing the interface and these are the things you can change according to your needs. Next, you can change title, add new section. Also, you can change template according to your needs. If you want to make change to home page, then you can click to this and you can see it's preparing interface for home page. So from here scrolling down, you can change this image or anything else you want to customize in your website. So guys, I hope it will help you to start your own classified ads websites through WordPress. That's it for today. Keep watching PC Tips Pro.